Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to introduce to you the new weather effects filter that's found in On One Photo Raw 2020. This is something that I consider to be for the fine art photographer. For example, if you're a wildlife photographer, you probably don't want to do something like this because you want the environment and the animal to be realistic. Uh, also, if you're a straight landscape photographer or travel photographer, you probably don't want to do this either. So there's a lot of situations where I don't think this is a good fit. But if you are a fine art photographer and you're really just going for the beauty of the print, this is definitely something that will help you add something extra or something different to your image. Now, I mentioned that it's an effects filter, so we're going to go over to the effects tab, and I'm just going to go to add filter, and it's down here, weather. Now, the filter is actually very easy to use, and you could do three different things. Uh, you could do fog, rain, snow. Now, you could do fog with rain or snow, but you never could do rain and snow together. If for some reason you want to have it raining and snowing at the same time in an image, you'd have to use two weather effects filters. But if you just want to put fog and rain, you could do that with one filter. Fog and snow, you could do that with one filter. Or of course, any of those by themselves you could do as well. Now with this image, I want to add some fog and maybe a little rain. So, um, Right at the top, we have these filter presets, and you can see it has Foghorn, Eugene, Blizzard. And if you go to the drop down, you can see there's a few more in there. I'm just going to jump right to Foghorn right away and click on that. And you can see that it applied the, the fog in the um, upper two thirds of the image, and not necessarily the way I wanted it. So the fog section of the filter is at the bottom and you can see position and by default it went to top two-thirds slow and i think i would rather do it towards the bottom so i'm going to go to the bottom third slow we could just hover over them and get an idea bottom third fast bottom half slow um bottom half slow i kind of like that let's go with that so as simple as that, and you could affect the amount, you could make it a little less of an effect or a little bit more. And I'll leave it up high just for a minute. And then the distance, you could move it further down or further up. So even though you have the position preset there, you could customize it by moving that distance slider. We're gonna bring the amount down a little bit. And your rotation, if it's um, going along uh, some type of uh, contour on the ground you may want to move the rotation a little bit in this case here we're going to leave it relatively straight and the transition do you want it to be more gradual or more abrupt with that so very easy so i kind of like that now i want to add a little rain and now i mentioned you could add rain or snow along with the fog using one filter so i'm going to do that as well we're going to go to precipitation section of the filter and we're going to go here and we're going to go drizzle straight. So we'll just pick that up. Now you won't see anything because you have to move the opacity slider. So we'll move the opacity slider. And as I move it to the right, you could see some rain coming through. And then we could scale it so it's maybe zoomed in closer towards the lens or further away. I think further away is fine. And I don't want it very strong because really the ground doesn't look wet. So I just want it, maybe it's just like a bare, bare, barely drizzling out, just for this example. So that's that. That's how you could add uh, fog and rain to an image. Let's do another one real quick. So we'll move over to this image. And this is actually an image that I took with my iPhone uh, just, I think, yesterday, maybe. I don't remember. But anyway, I was walking by, and I just thought this looked scenic. So I took this shot, and I was actually standing there in my own little world taking the shot and I was blocking a maintenance vehicle that was trying to pull down this road. <laughs> they were super nice though. They didn't beep or nothing. They just parked right behind me or sat right behind me until I took about three or four of these pictures. And then I looked and I was really embarrassed because I, you know, I'm 60 years old. I'm not a kid playing on my phone in my own little world, but apparently I was. So anyway, I digress. Let's go to add filter, go to weather. And what I want to do here is I want to add that fog again. 
But this time I want to see how, I want to show you how you can manipulate the fog with the mask. Now in this case too, I don't want it at the top. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go to the, um, let's try the bottom two thirds slow. Let's go to bottom two thirds fast. Let's go to bottom two thirds fast. Now, typically, uh, living in the Northeast as I do, I notice that when it's cold out, uh, the fog will tend to be over the water when there's ice or snow and it won't be on the ground. So I want to lessen it over here. So what I want to do is um, open up the mask right here. Click on that. And what we want to do is go to the brush attributes and we want to paint out the effect. I want feathering at 100 and I want opacity very low. So I'm just going to hover over the word opacity. And when you do that, you'll see the cursor turns into that horizontal arrow and that's called a scrubby slider. So I'm just going to move it down to like 10. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lessen it over here. Now every brush stroke lessens it more and more. So that's why we're using that um, o opacity at 10 just to kind of make it fit. And I think maybe towards the water it would be a little more robust or a little bit heavier of a fog. And I gotta remove it over that tree I think. So I think that is maybe over there too. Well, very quickly done. I think that's okay. But you get the idea then how you could use a mask, a filter mask or an effects mask to uh, put, in this case, the fog where I want it. So that is that. Let's do another one. This will be the last one. Uh, this is a typical snow scene. And I'm not going to add any fog here. It was a crisp, cold day. I want to just add some snow. So we're going to go to Add Filter. I'm going to go to Weather. And we're going to go to precipitation again. And we have accumulation, as you can see when I hover over that, alpine, blizzard, catch one on your tongue. I think that means that is very light. Um, then we got, you know, it's coming down out there. Then we have none. Then we have the rain. So we're not going to do the rain. Uh, let's just do, um, how about catch one with your tongue? And uh, the scale. I don't want it too close. I want it further away. And I want it less. I just want it a little bit. Like it's just starting to snow out a little bit like that. So you can see how you have a lot of control. Now if you do want to go, let's say, with Blizzard, you could do that as well. You could make it heavier by turning the opacity up. Again, the scale, you could push it closer, further away. Let's just, I don't know. I don't like the blizzard as much for this one. I don't know why, but all personal preference. So that's it. That's the weather effects filter that's found in on one photo raw 2020. Again, you could do rain, snow, and or fog. You could add the fog to the rain or the snow, and you can't do rain and snow at the same time unless you use two separate weather effects filters. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>